Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share messages that I get from spirit for all of us who are all on this journey to love and to reunite with our divine vibrational matches in this lifetime. And uh, today I'm going to pull, well, I'm going to share a message from the magic of trees. <laughs> so already this morning I've had Hawthorne, Hawthorne, Hawthorne. So um, I was like, okay, I know that the Hawthorne tree wants to bring us a message. And um, as well as that, number 23. So I'm going to share 23 from the Divine Love Letter books I do. So if you're new to watching my channel, then I share guidance that comes through um, for those that are on this twin flame, soul to soul path, just like me. And um, anything that comes through and sort of like things that happen between this soul group, and all the signs and synchronicities that happen and well some of them you can possibly cover all of them because it would just be too long maybe <laughs> you'd be making videos all day long 24 7. Um, but the message this morning was the Hawthor hawthorn tree so and if um i was guided to do a crystal grid so for all you crystal grid members again thank you and uh we are all I was guided to do a crystal grid, which is when you join the crystal grid, you get you receive a piece of rose quartz, which I um, infuse with the intent to bring all twin flames together into their reunions because it is grounding unconditional love onto the planet. And you receive a piece of rose quartz. And then if you add that into your practice, whatever practice you do, um, put it onto your sacred, put it into your sacred place and um and you can meditate with the crystal and basically have that again have that intent to bring you and your twin into reunion and all twin flames into their reunion and then we're anchoring this little unconditional love all over the world as these um the crystals are being sent all over the world so uh when i get messages through trees it feels extra special because the crystal grid is all based around the forest lovers who are entwined together for eternity around the oak tree so trees um are hugely powerful and play a big big role in bringing these connections into the physical um so if ever and today's message is very much about being present in that now moment and um if you ever feel yourself not feeling grounded or not being able you know too much thinking about the future too much thinking about the past too much thinking about you know either which way and not just being focused on that moment in the present um then you know go sit with a tree pick out a favorite tree and ask it to work with you and um amazing things will happen for sure so hawthorn may be small but she's also one of the most mag magical trees in the western traditions running through the folklore and herbal healing wisdom of countless cultures and continents she's associated with love <laughs> fairies the great goddess and the divine marriage between the goddess and the god oh my god to this day the british royal family's christmas table is adorned with a flowering sprig of glastonbury thorn related in myth to both jesus and king arthur hawthorn is a descendant of the same bi biannually flowering tree that was legendary born of joseph of arimathea's staff when he placed it in the ground at glastonbury Magically, Hawthorne is highly protective, in large part because of her ability to bring us fully into the present moment. After all, when we're fully present, we're both relaxed and alert, which makes us ready to defend ourselves swiftly and effectively. Medicinally, Hawthorne has been employed in a number of cultures and continents to support digestion. This mirrors her ability to help us digest and harmoniously assimilate what is true in any given moment by having us surrender to what really is, not what should or shouldn't be. We release resistance and move through challenges in the most ideal of ways. Oh wow, there you go. And look, heart healing. Medicinally, Hawthorn has been used to strengthen the physical heart. Author Fred Hagendia states in The Meaning of Trees, trials have shown that it helps in the treatment of high blood pressure a mild to moderate heart failure, while also helping to reduce the anxiety associated with these conditions. 
Magically, Hawthorne's vibration has long been employed to heal broken hearts. So the healing water for a broken heart is to facilitate and speed the healing of a broken heart. Ca gather two bottles of clean drinking water and visit a blossoming Hawthorne tree. Sit or stand comfortably and breathe consciously as you relax your body and come into the present moment. When you feel grounded and centered, hold both bottles and say a prayer of blessing. Call on angels or simply the divine to bless the water with pure, vibrant white light. Envisage the water pulsating with this light. As an offering, pour one of the bottles around the base of the tree and then request that the tree bless the other bottle with a vibration that will support the healing of your broken heart in exactly the way that it is most needed. Trust that the tree responds according to your wish. And when you feel ready, drink the water as you do so. Feel it filling you with a beautiful healing and balancing light. Oh, wow. That is very cool. So for weddings, as a member of the rose family, there you go, the rose again, and a plant with a five-petaled flower making her sacred to the goddess. Hawthorne is associated with joyful commitment and lasting romantic love. Flowering hawthorn branches were traditionally employed in wedding ceremonies and were used to adorn altars to Hymen, the Greek god of marriage celebrations. To, preci to precipitate a proposal or to bless a proposal you're planning to make, place flowering hawthorn on your altar, altar on a Friday during the waxing moon. And for wishes, if you discover a hawthorn growing near a sacred well or a natural spring, you can confide into her a wish. Then tie a small bit of ribbon or collared yarn around one of her branches to demonstrate that you fully release the ideal unfolding of your wish to let to her infinite wisdom. Oh, wow. I've got the song, tie a little yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, which has come through in healings before that song. And yellow is all about coming in to look at the big yellow bag I've got there. But yellow is the is the solar plexus chakra, and that's all about coming into your power. And you know where we are most powerful is in that centered, grounded, present moment. And um, so that's kind of isn't that all kinds of beautiful? <laughs> I tell you the mess. You know it's so lovely that that it's about love again and just you know healing the broken heart and healing the heart which is everything that we're doing right we're healing hearts healing hearts all over the world so um take note of the hawthorn be in that present moment and um you know feel the love Okay, so we have the Work Your Light Oracle. So let's have a look. What is it today? And it is... No! We've had the... It's happening. We've had the rose again. I did just... I'm going to pull another one because we know what the message of the rose is. The message of the rose is saying it's happening for you, not to you. So if you are going through that, you know, any sort of heartache, just like the Hawthorne is saying, it's here to heal your broken heart. But uh, any sort of you know, angst in your life at the moment, which shows up in lots of different ways, right? But if you are, then just trust, look, look it's happening for you, not to you. It will to, this, it will to pass or whatever that saying is. And um, just trust, you know, that it's going to be okay. So we're being called home in Rama, in Rama. Where are you being called to journey to? And that is to say we are all being called home. We're being called to have this heart healing. We're being called to, you know, to trust in the in the call of our hearts, you know, back to love. You know, that's basically what we're doing. We're all on a journey back to love, uh, back to our hearts, back to what really is important, you know. And um, that happens slowly 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 day by day day by day day by day um we all transform in the light of our souls so the message of the card is this the celtic work in rama means a journey of the soul a voyage on which we don't know where we are going but our soul knows the way 
If you pulled this card, you are either being called on a soul journey or are already on one. It could be to a physical ancient place or metaphoric. And it's already mentioned Glastonbury today. So when we journey to places that our soul remembers, a shift takes place, both within us and to the planet as well. You are being called to journey to a place that is sacred to your soul. Perhaps it is to journey to the world's sacred sites or call to cross the country, climb a mountain, lie on the desert floor or drink from an ancient well. There are places to see and old friends to meet. I see spontaneous pilgrimages in your future. If a physical voyage isn't possible, journey through the portal of your heart. Follow the invisible soul trail and be willing to explore. Maybe read a book or watch a movie about a sacred time or place. Or perhaps you are being called to study an ancient lineage or body of work. Whatever your circumstances, your soul is ready to journey deep. So hold the card. Uh, so you can't hold the card. I've got the card. But you can place a hand on your heart and say, May seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. I am ready to remember ancient secrets for lands that my soul knows from times past. May I be held by the ancient lineages that my soul has served and remember that I don't have to do it all alone. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to read it again. So it is, may seeds of light long ago planted begin to rise. I am ready to remember ancient secrets from lands that my soul knows from times past. May I be held by the ancient lineages that my soul has served and remember that I don't have to do it all alone. Okay, so we go back to seeds planting, trees, roots, grounding, uh, being present in the here and now, um, going into the heart space to follow the journey of the soul. And uh, so, you know, all the guidance is intertwined. So let's, uh, uh, so I'm going to share from Divine Love Letter books. These are all channel messages that I do between you and your twins. And so the message is that I need you. I need to hear you tell me that you miss me. You love me. That you long for us to be together. You long for us to be entwined together for eternity, just as I yearn for this. I need to know that you yearn for it too, just as much as every cell in my body aches for you. I need to have you with me. I need to know that we will be together, no matter what. Our love and our union will bring us together against all odds. That love will win. We will be winners in love. Glorious, glorious love. A love that is so strong it takes my breath away. Leaves me completely wiped out and exhausts me. But inspires me and catapults me into a new being, a new self. It's love. <laughs> Um, okay, so that's the first one. And then we have the second one, book two. And it is that you are the only one that I want to spend the rest of my life with. That I've made up my mind. I'm not going to let my fears and my crazy head get in the way of our happiness. That I need to man up. I know I'm not a little boy anymore. And I can't keep putting my life on hold and hoping for a miracle to happen. Because I already found my miracle and it's you. It always has been. I've always wanted to be with you from the first time we met, but I was scared. I wasn't in a good place. I was miserable and I didn't want me to bring your life down. But now I see more clearly. I see that together we make each other. Together we bring the light to each other's shadow. Together we are love, pure, true love. <laughs> and so last one, book three is, um, here we go. I want you to be totally honest and open with me and tell me exactly how you feel. Don't hold back. Just open your heart and let me know. Don't worry about what I say. I need to hear your confidence and your love for me and your determination. That is what will give me the strength to do what I have to do. So much of my life I've lived in fear, but I really need reassurance to step out of my fears, to have confidence to be able to love you. Do not fear our connection. So please be strong. Stay strong in our love and show me the way. Wow. So if you um, listen to the WhatsApp, I did a WhatsApp conversation. Um, was it two days ago now? Yeah. And uh, 
that we had one of the questions, which was um, basically what message does that does your twin want to give you? And it was basically saying that there that it was the talisman card, which is a woman holding a light going up this windy path and basically saying, I will follow your light. And so just remember that that's what we are doing. You know, energetically, uh, we are following each other's light. And the more that we do all of these, you know, little things, just like it said about the tree, bless the water, um, be in the present, live from the heart, you know, stay grounded. Um, all of those things help to lift and shift the vibration. And the more that we do that, the more that we um, hold that light for all of us. So we're all doing it collectively because uh, we are all energy. Look at that. So 23 from the Love Mantra book is our DNA. Our soul song is getting louder and louder, bringing us home. So our DNA, our soul song is getting louder and louder, bringing us home. One more time for the Trinity. So our DNA, our soul song is getting louder and louder, bringing us home. So uh, that's from the Love Mantra book. And then I'll do one from the Magic Mantra book. And then... Um, Ah, oh, I love this one. Um, <laughs> being fearless is my destiny. Being magic is my gift. Being fearless is my destiny. Being magic is my gift. Being fearless is my destiny. Being magic is my gift. And that's the thing, isn't it? So uh, I noticed that, that in the channel, both of the channel letters were saying about speaking your truth and not and it's so easy like if you face rejection to just shut down and just think oh i can't you know i can't go there again and put my heart on my sleeve again and um but that's the thing about these connections isn't it it's seeing beyond that and understanding that that there is being fearless and putting it and being open and vulnerable is your power that's why you know intertwined with all the messages today it was like the yellow the solar plexus and um which is about being in your power and when you're in your power then you are being vulnerable is like a superpower <laughs> because um you know that that's that that's your truth right and then you have to you have to you have to live it you have to speak it you have to be it and uh the more that you do that the more powerful your light is so you know it's like we all feed off each other we all help to um increase the light for each other and then by doing that you know we are collectively grounding this new vibration this new frequency onto the planet so there you go i really hope that helps um if you would like to get a healing a reading a channeling or to be part of the crystal grid that i do um, all details are in the description box against this video. If you join the Crystal Grid, then you receive a piece of rose quartz. And um, like I say, it's got the intent to bring love to the planet. And I also send you a picture of the grid, which is like this. This is just a book of the all the well, actually, this is a book of all you, everyone that cut, you know, all the healings and readings and channelings and things uh my to-do list basically but um this grid this is a picture of the grid but basically this is the grid and uh then energetically we are all added into this and the, at the heart of the grid is the forest lovers uh again entwined together for eternity around the oak tree and i was led to do the crystal grid um after i did my reiki um master oh god what was it it was uh the holy fire reiki master and there were all kinds of like crazy things that happened on that court that everything always does happen which is bizarre but basically this painting flew off a, <laughs> flew off a um wall and i was like what and i knew that it was my twin doing it to have you know to be messing around basically and um and 
and then after that I was sort of just led to set up this crystal grid and then uh, yeah and then set up the channel and it was all around the lion's gate um, which is a big energy portal uh, well just shortly before I started up this channel so yeah <laughs> and uh, and then just so just weirdly this morning it's just why I thought of that is because uh, bizarrely I like this morning on YouTube I had like you know recommends you videos and stuff <laughs> I see this face and it's like a female version of my twin's face it was just so weird with a message from heaven because <laughs> I had to I was like if you took off your hair and just changed your hairstyle and had a bit of stubble you would be my twin that's just so weird and uh, it just reminded me of like when this painting flew off the wall and I guess my my Reiki master who has the same name as my twin was like whoa what was that <laughs> and I was like I, I knew that it was my twin spirit messing around just showing his presence and saying yes I'm here so and all of those things you know these are the things that you just think you know people may say oh that's coincidence and you're like mm, yeah there's nothing <laughs> there is no coincidence there is only magic and energy and wonder and you know you know and that's the other thing to live in this kind of like quasi parallel universe where you can see things I guess beyond the illusion of what we we think we're seeing it with you know the eyes of truth then you're like wow it is magic <laughs> so that's the message for today just remember that you are magic and this whole thing is you know all kinds of feels all the time but at the heart of it it is magic all right I have really hope that helps um so in the meantime i hope you stay well stay bright and stay switched on to the light see ya bye